Okay, everybody, welcome back. Come on in and let's talk about the North Edge Apache watch. This is actually uh, one of the ABC watches, as they call it. It's altimeter, barometer, and compass. And, uh, you know, for this $71 price point, I've been wearing this for about a month, and it's got a little heft to it, but i got to tell you, it's fairly comfortable. Uh, I find it to, to work very well as far as the features go, and, uh, you know, I, I definitely think it's it's worth it for the money if you're trying to get into an affordable ABC watch. Uh, I'm going to be getting into the Sunto Core. Uh, that should be coming pretty soon, the Sunto Core Stealth. Uh, this guy here is just one I kind of wanted to try to get into it. So, uh, it comes shipped with this uh, second band here. Uh, it's a nylon, and it also comes with this guy here. Uh, which is a silicone. Uh, I found this to be very durable. Uh, the the watch face is a mineral crystal. It's taken a couple of hits, but it's uh, uh, it's it's definitely solid. Uh, I brought this uh, up to Baxter State Park for a little hiking, and as you can see, it's got a nice finish on it. Finish finish has got no dings. It's held up nicely, and I'm actually going to be selling this to a friend of mine uh, and moving this along. Uh, just. Was a really uh, was a pleasure to try it out, and it was a pleasure to uh, bought this with my own money. It's not a paid advertisement. Just want to make you guys aware of this of this watch. And the altimeter barometer compass watches, by the way, are are for those who don't want to get into a smart watch that's got to be charged regularly, but are going to be in, maybe in the back country or going to be out doing some hiking, and they want the compass feature. They they this has got a, a thermometer in it. Uh, so let's let's get into some of the features here, and I'll I'll talk to you about how this works. So it's got four main buttons here, uh, and so basically on the main readout here, you've got your your day of the week, your time. I've got my set to military time and your date of eleven one. If you look really close up in the corner, it shows you what the weather conditions are. Like it'll show you if it's going to rain or something like that, um, as long as you've got your barometric pressure shut properly. Uh, so it's got a backlight that you that you can get with this upper left button right here. I don't know if you can see that or not, this guy up here. So uh, it's not a very pronounced backlight, but it works great in a dark room. And uh, I'll show you guys what that looks like. I actually kind of really like that feature. Uh, this is pretty easy to set. If you want to set it, you hold this bottom left button here. And you see it just says hold. And as you do that, that takes you through, and then you just click this left button again to cycle through minutes and seconds and all that stuff. Uh, year, date, 24 hour clock, and of course you'd hit these buttons over here if you wanted to change that on the right side, the top and the bottom. Uh, and then this is your LCD brightness, so you can actually adjust that to within 10 levels of contrast. Uh, your beep, if you want that to be on or off, whenever you click things. And that's how that takes you through there. So then just to go back, you just hold that and you're right back. Now if you notice this uh, kind of ticker going around the watch face, that's your second hand. And what that's going to do is that's counting seconds as your watch counts up. Kind of a neat feature there. So as we go through, to cycle through the, the functions, if you want to click up immediately, that's going to show you your... Uh, barometer so when you notice this little symbol here this because you can uh, go between like the metric measurement and the and the standard measurement I guess depending on what part of the world the standard measurement for your barometric pressure I found this to be very close to where we're at uh, just going off on weather sites and things like that then to get back to your home screen you just click this bottom left button again so now if I want to tell what my altimeter is at 88 91 feet above uh, sea level right there um, and this also shows me at 71.6 degrees Fahrenheit up here. Um, it, it recalculates the computer, uh, goes back and forth inside of itself, as you can see. But uh, it, it actually stays very, very close to, to where it's at. And uh, I've got a land surveyor friend of mine that uh, has given me some measurements for different places. And uh, I've tried them out, and it's very close. So again, to get back, just click on that bottom button. So you initially have to set, by the way, you initially have to set the uh, the barometer and all that stuff uh, for your location. This does not come, you know, preset or anything like that. So steps, this is uh, for a pedometer, and you would hold this bottom right button here. And if I do that, see the little blinking walking man that actually uh, starts your steps for your step counter, and then to stop it, you just click it again and it shuts it off if you want to save your battery life. Now as you're going through there, 
This shows you how many miles you will have walked. This shows you uh, estimated calories that you've burned, uh, how long you walked, uh, and you have to set this pedometer like you would any normal pedometer as well. Um, and uh, this, this right in this menu, you can set your stride and all that stuff just again by holding the bottom left button right here. So then this just cycles you through your recorded data if you want to see all your recorded data for your previous day. Uh, then you have two alarms, so those are pretty standard to set your alarm. Uh, again, if I wanted to set that alarm to turn it on, I just hit that, and then that's going to have that little bell icon. And to turn it back off, I just do that. Now, if I want to set that, again, you hold that bottom left button, and that'll cycle you through your menu to set it. So we're just going to shut that off. Pretty much everything that you want to set on this, you just hit the bottom left button. Uh, chronograph, uh, so for timing. Timer, uh, this is a countdown, not a count up. Um, now, this one here, it seems to confuse a lot of people. This is a pacer. So, some people, uh, it, it's basically a metronome. Uh, there's a lot of things you might use that for, whether it's keeping pace while you're hiking on a long hike, or whether it's uh, movements, like uh, one of the things I've been part of and, and am part of right now is honor guard. Uh, so, movements are timed and calculated when you're doing a firing party, say at a funeral or marching or anything like that. There's so many counts in each movement that you do in a ceremony. So this actually is a very useful feature. So to set your metronome or pacer as they call it here, um, again, you just hold down on the, on the button, on the bottom left button, and now you can go up or down. So you see now it's at 40, I guess beats per second or however you wanna call that. Now to show you what that looks like, now, if you want to start that going, you're just going to click the top right button, and that's going to pace you. Now, you can make that go faster or slower. And as I say, it seems to be confusing a lot of people with what, and then I just stopped it right there. And then if I want to reset it, you just hold the bottom right button. So top right to start it, bottom right to hold it, and set it back to zero. So a lot of people seem to be confused by that feature, but that's what that feature is. That's what it's used for. Uh, and then you've got a second second uh, time in case you're in different time zones. And then here's the compass. Now, as you can see with the compass, uh, I have found this compass. See, so you go west, which would be just about right because the ocean's that way. So I'm just tracking it around. South, southwest, southeast. This table here is going to mess it up a little because it's it's got a metal frame on it, but. I have found this compass to be very usable. There we go. It was inverted, so I just uninverted it. So there you go with your west, northwest, and the compass seems to, I've tested it out with my normal compass, and it actually seems to hold pretty good. So it looks like I left my alarm on. We should probably shut that off so it doesn't beep at me tonight. So in order to set my alarm, or to turn it off, I just go right back down there and turn it off. So that's the, uh, basic walkthrough and tutorial of the North Edge Apache watch. Now these guys are a Chinese company unapologetically. You'll find these listed under a couple of different uh, brand names but the North Edge I guess is a region in China, a mountainous region in China and uh, by the profile I found online it looks like a, a, an army veteran over there started a company and this is his company. They're not a clone company or a knockoff company as I have found. Uh, they're just a, a Chinese company from over there trying to do their thing and market their own product. And it's a very reasonable price. Uh, Health-wise, uh, I feel like it's uh, definitely a heavier watch, but not so much that it, it was uncomfortable when I was wearing it. So that's what I have on that for this. Uh, I'm going to cut out real quick right now and show you guys what this looks like on the wrist. It's just easier to demonstrate it for you guys not on the wrist. Um, so you're going to see that right now. Okay. So here it is on the wrist. I don't have incredibly huge wrists. Um, uh, actually I have kind of small wrists as wrists go, but here's, here's where it is on mine. It's a fairly large watch. It's fairly heavy, but, uh, again, when you're wearing it, you don't really notice it, especially with all the features that it's got on it. So there's a bird's eye view for you guys, what it looks like actually on the wrist. Okay, and this is just another really quick comparison. Uh, this shows you my, uh, this is my Luminox Navy SEAL color mark uh, as compared to this, as compared to this uh, G-Shock here. 
So as you can see, it's it's not incredibly uh, uncomfortably larger uh, than these. These are very comfortable watches. It is on the large side, but it offers a lot of features for that. And uh, we'll see what the Suunto Core looks like when it comes in. But I'm going to take a wild guess. It's probably going to be very similar to that. I think the Suunto Core is like a 49.1 diameter and I can't remember what this one is but I think this one is 50. So uh, there we go Apache North Edge. Okay so that's what it looks like on the wrist. It's it's actually uh, very comfortable to wear uh, and now I'm going to cut out and show you guys what this looks like with the backlight in a dark room. So here's that. Okay and here we have the backlight which as you can see is quite pronounced and it works very well Ooh. and uh, it fades like really slowly like that. It kind of comes in and then it fades away. And uh, I actually really like that feature. It doesn't like stay on. That's a good preservation of battery life and uh, just a really great backlight for a negative display like that. So there's the backlight. Okay, so thank you for taking a walk with me through this. I mean, like I'm always saying, the, the gear, uh, it's not just a gun channel. Uh, guns, hiking, oops, I left it on compass. Uh, guns, hiking, uh, any gear that we use outside, knives, I like to take you guys through and uh, watches are definitely, definitely a big part of that gear. So uh, thank you for joining us today. Thank you for checking this out and hopefully you find this useful. If you're on the fence about buying one of these and you want to get into one of those altimeter, barometer, compass watches, I definitely recommend this. It's, it's, uh, it's a good watch, especially if you're not sure if you want to get into that category and you just want to check it out. So Hey, you guys take care. That's the watch. And thanks again for joining us. Until next time, have a good one. And we'll see you then. Bye now.